tanning, it's out, and your skin is in. Stay safe from the rays of the sun, even in the winter. Megan Rothschild is a spokesperson for the Melanoma Foundation of New England, and she joins us to tell you about how you can take the pledge and really believe that your skin is in. Thanks yeah. for being here, Megan. Yeah, thank you for having me. I think people do think about slathering on the sun protection during the warmer weather because right. the sun is beating on them. But the fact is that you should be conscious of that year round. Absolutely. You should be wearing an SPF every day of 30 or more. Um, it's something that we tend to forget a little bit about in the winter, like you said, because we're not out in direct sunlight mm -hmm. for extended periods of time. But yeah, it's something you want to be conscious of all year round. Now, you are a melanoma survivor, a cancer survivor. Yes. And coming up in in February, you'll be 10 years cancer-free. That is so wonderful. What a thing to celebrate. Yeah, it's uh, it's pretty exciting. Once you hit that 10-year mark, it's it's a cause for celebration because it means your, um, you know, your chance of getting it again goes down. So it is definitely exciting. It's going to be happening in about a week. So looking forward to it. A toast to you and your health, that's yeah, for thank sure. You. Now you are the face of the Melanoma Foundation of New England. Congratulations thank on you. being chosen for that. You are a believer in this. You're very passionate and we've seen you time and time again uh, in front of the camera just advocating for how important it is to protect your skin because right. you're a survivor. Right. Let's talk about some facts about teens and tanning because the reality is there are still tanning booths and there are still many, many people that go and tan. Right, absolutely. And, and melanoma, a lot of people don't know this, but melanoma is actually the second most common form of cancer for young people ages 15 to 29. So this is a cancer that used to affect an older male population, and now we see it growing among the younger female population. Um, and another thing to note is that melanoma is the only cancer on, in this country where rates, the, the rates of it are increasing faster than all other cancers combined. Um, so it's becoming, unfortunately, almost an, ec an epidemic. Mm -hmm. um, just more and more people we're starting to see have cases of, of melanoma. Well, you are beautiful and you. you are putting yourself out there as someone that's saying, I don't go tanning. Right. I don't go in the sun for long periods of time and I protect myself and you're such a role model because you're showing people that you don't have to be tanned to be beautiful. Right. And or you can use self tanner right. or whatever. There's so many it is. Alternatives. So it's great that you're putting that message out there and making and changing the conversation to be about your skin is what's beautiful, right. not tan skin. Right. And so it is important to make sure that you're always reminding students and kids and teens about that. Now yeah. tell me about the pledge that people can take. Yes, it's called your Skin is In. This is actually our seventh year doing it with the foundation. Um, over the last six years, we've been able to reach over 100,000 students in the New England area. And this uh, program really asks students to sign a pledge stating they won't seek UV exposure, whether it's for prom or spring break or all of those kind of, um, you know, exciting milestones that happen both in high school and college. Um, this pledge asks teens to sign, teens and young adults to sign a pledge stating they won't go out and do that because again, because of the um, prevalence in, in this age group, it's just becoming so you know, so much. Yeah, in so this common age group. too. Yeah, and, exactly. And people, you know, it's good to know too. There is so many. There's so many alternatives that are safe. Right. Self tanners in a bottle. Go and get a spray tan. Those won't harm your just skin. Just loving the skin you're in. I know and, that's or hard loving to do. The skin but you're yeah. in. Right. I know exactly. it is hard. Right. But just promoting what safe, you're promoting. Healthy alternatives. Yes. Exactly. Now tell me about where people can go to take this pledge. They can go on the Melanoma Foundation's website, mfne.org, and they there's information there. There's actually a lot of really great awareness videos, um, things that are. Uh, you know, available for educators who are interested in this program, but it's pretty easy. You can go on, you can register your school, um, or you can actually um, just take the pledge. If you don't want to register your school, you can also just go right on there and sign up to, to uh, state, you know, you won't go tanning or won't seek UV radiation. So, yeah, it's so pretty easy. This is the yeah. seventh annual. Seventh annual, yep. This is in, it's a big one. <laughs> it is a big one, definitely. Yeah. And, and also, it's just nice that, that you're always raising awareness and reminding reminding girls specifically because you're seeing that to love the skin that they are in. Yeah. So thank you, Megan, and congratulations again, almost 10 years cancer-free. It's wonderful news. Thank you. Thanks, Thanks for having me. Thank you for being here.